I'm taking over Desiree's video again. Um, and we have our friends here from Cupcakes and Stickies. This is Loretta and Mary. But yeah, we're just popping in. We're in line. It's a long line, y'all. And um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna stand in it. I think I'm gonna keep moving um, <laughs> and figure it out. You know what I'm saying? But we just wanted to pop in and say hi. No, no, it's been recording. I'm just turning the camera around. You can't see all the way back. Oh, we got confetti carpet over here. Desiree, say hi. Hey. <laughs> I'm just recording. See, I told you this line was gonna do this. Right. That's why I was like, I'm not going back there. You see what the line did? It just like dispersed. Look, everybody's coming down. Walking right in. That is all I have had to do is play with paper. But guys, here's the thing. I have been using paper all along as a self-soothing technique. And I didn't even know that's what I was doing. It wasn't until this last year that I got myself into therapy and my therapist suggested, like, why don't you try doodling as a way to manage your anxiety? And I went, you're telling me the things that I do on my papers already? That's good for me? It's not just me killing time? And she's like, no, you just need to do it a little more intentionally. So that is what we are going to do today. I'm going to be showing you three products like we have a two monthly subscription boxes one that is focused on pens so make pens to use monthly we have a planning and stationary box that focuses on sending you size specific um inserts and whatnot for your planner each month and then we just released a yearly uh sorry a quarterly box about a year ago called it called a steep um, and the the release of that box was trying to focus on um, helping small businesses because coming from COVID, it was a very tumultuous time and I wanted to use the access and exposure that I had to also promote other small businesses. So that box focuses on um, women-led, women-owned, minority-owned, and minority-led businesses in that box. full-time babysitter. The parents don't know that I am their adopted daughter's birth mother. I didn't know either until I saw her baby picture was the one I sent them before they adopted her. A reminder of the stories of heroism and frailty playing out in the lives of people all the time, even among us right here today that are invisible. Today I found out my family secret. My grandfather was gay, and the only person who knew was my amazing grandma. They raised the family together. They were best friends. 
rushed over to Erin Condren's Fairfax store in Virginia. Um, took about 25, 30 minutes to get there. And it was nice. We got some things. And we had to quickly rush back to our, well, back to D.C. Because now we were having the Moxie Life affiliate dinner. And as you probably already know, a lot of the Erin Condren affiliates, some, a handful, are Moxie Life affiliates also. Just because we're not one planner people. You know, we, we use them all. Anyhow, so we went to the dinner and we show up with all of our Erin Condren bags. Because <laughs> we went shopping. Oh my god, how awful is that, right? Anyhow, we were a few minutes late, but let me show you our Moxie Life affiliate dinner, which happened to be at the same restaurant as the Erin Condren one from the night prior. But we were able to order different things, so it was off good fun. <laughs> Oh, hi. <laughs> 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 